Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene.com Machine Embroidery Art. I wanted to elaborate a little more on applique since I get so many questions regarding it. And I also wanted to show you the difference between the applique wizard program in PE Design Next or 9 and the newer version PE Design 10. We'll start with 9. As you might remember from Lesson 41 on applique, that we converted a true type font to an applique by selecting it, then going to our text attributes, converting it to an outline, and then because it has the little blue dotted lines, we know that it's grouped, so we have to ungroup it. And now when we go to the attributes, we see the applique wizard, but it's still not highlighted. For some reason, you have to click outside and then reselect it. Now when you go to attributes, the applique wizard is highlighted and ready to use. Now the default for the uh, applique wizard, you have four stitches. The first is a running stitch that is used to cut out the applique material. Once that's cut out, you can hoop your garment and so the second running stitch, which is going to show you where to position your cutout material. The next thing you're going to do is tack down that material before you do the covering stitch. And you can use uh, uh, either a satin stitch, E-stitch, or a V-stitch to uh, tack it down. We'll just use the default. And then lastly, uh, we do the covering stitch. That too, you can change from uh, a V stitch, E stitch, or satin stitch. Most people use a satin. You can also change the width and the density of that uh, covering stitch. Now before you say OK, be sure that you have clicked and checked this box, create an applique with hole sewing, so you're sure to get your cutout as well. So we'll say OK now. And boom, we got them all in order. We have the Cut the material cutout uh, running stitch. And if you click on it, you see that it's a running stitch. Next is the second running stitch, the outside and the uh, inside. And you can see that that is also a running stitch. And then lastly, we have our uh, tack down stitch and then the zigzag stitch. PE Design 10 has made it a little bit easier. The applique wizard is very intuitive with, with fonts especially. So when you select the uh, true type font and you go to applique wizard in PE Design 10, now you have one, two, three, four, five things. Let's see what the default is. The default says to add this and we don't want this extra outside uh, stitch. So I'm going to check replace. So now we have the same thing, uh, the uh, cutout for the material, the positioning, the tack down, and the covering. Once again, make sure this box is selected. We don't have to convert it to an outline or recheck it or re-select uh, it. All we have to do is just select it and make sure our, our proper boxes are checked and say OK. And there, a lot easier. Once again, all the stitches are in the proper order uh, of the cutouts with the middle and the outside, and then another running stitch for the positioning with the middle and the outside, and the uh, tack down and covering stitch. The PE Design program is not so intuitive with objects that you've drawn yourself. I did this coffee cup because it shows you that we have three area, two areas of applique, the inside of the cup and the outside, and then we also have the cutout uh, for the handle. And the way to do this is we're going to have to use the applique wizard with each component separately. And when I digitized this cup, because I knew I was going to be using it for applique, I had to digitize three separate closed path areas. So we'll start with the cup first and we are going to um, 
just select it go to attributes check check the applique wizard and uh, that's really just do it just like it is so it has the running cutout the running stitch positioning and then it has the two uh, the, the tack down and then the covering stitch. So next I'm going to do the, what's, what do I have next in, in line? Okay, I'll do, the top comes next. So the, we're going to select the uh, inside of the coffee cup next. Go to the applique wizard and just say okay. We got the second part. Same goes with the hole in the uh, handle attributes. The problem with this is we don't want it to do the, uh, when it's sewn out, we don't want it to do the cutout for our material in uh, in three different sections. You see you've got your running stitch for the cutout here, the running stitch for the cutout there, and the running stitch. We want them all to be together. So let's uh, we have to change their positions. So I'm going to start that so I won't get confused. I'm going to, with my finger on the control key, select the uh, cutout for the applique material for the cup, for the top of the cup, and the cutout. I'm going to select them all. Then I'm going to go to color. And it doesn't show me a color here. I have to go to the thread chart click on that and do brother embroidery and I'll make that first stitch this color here. Alright, so for the um, positioning stitch I'm going to select the positioning stitch next with my finger on the control key select and then select and let's make this, now we, once again we have to go here and I'm going to select a color that's easy and bright to see. I can, how about a green? And then last is the uh, tack down and uh, cover stitch. So select with my finger on the control key, select and select. We're going to make that color, we'll make it a purple color. Okay, that just makes it easier for, uh, for me to see uh, how to arrange this. So I'm going to select the inside of the handle with my finger on the control key, select the inside of the cup, and I'm going to drag all these up so that we get the whole cutout all at one time. The same with the uh, inside of the handle with my finger on the control key, select the middle, and we're going to drag this up so that will sew out next so the positioning so we'll know where to position everything and then uh, lastly these are already in place in PE Design 10 once again they've made it a lot easier instead of having having to select each part that I digitize we can just click and drag and select the whole thing and then we can go to applique wizard and make sure that the replace is checked because we don't want that extra stitch around it, just go OK. So they've made it a lot easier. However, we still have the same problem of it sewing it in three different sections, each piece in three separate times. We don't want it to sew out like that. We want to sew out the positioning of the cup and the cutouts all at one time. So once again, with my finger on the control key, I'm going to select the cup, the top of the cup, and the hole for the handle, go to colors, we got to turn on the chart for some reason, why they, okay, and we'll make that first one black, and then we got to select, finger on the control key, select the hole, and then the middle, that's for your placement, and we'll make that color orange, and lastly the uh, tack down and covering stitch, select them all, 
and we'll make those uh, make it purple again okay so once again we have to uh, put them all together so it will sew out correctly and then I'm going to select and drag that up so now they're all in the right order I hope this video has clarified a few things especially when doing applique with multiple regions one last thing don't forget to also put your plate your uh, tack down and covering stitches in the proper order too because you want to tack down everything at the same time so we'll put our tack down all together and so now we have our tack downs all together and our covering stitches and I think that's everything I need to tell you for now good luck with this